Hey guys, my name is Faith and welcome back to another episode in the Dinosaur Mine and I didn't want you guys to miss this because this could pretty much end in chaos. I want to release a couple of cows to bring over to the new restaurant and I don't know how this is gonna turn out but here we go. Oh, there they come, there they all come. Oh man, it's lagging like crazy. Is that the cows? Okay, that's, that's good enough, that's good enough, please move on, Betsy, come on, get out of there. I want to close this off. Two of you, oh man, they're still coming. I need to close this off, okay. Um, everyone was out, come with me, all of you, come with me, that's a lot of cows. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to lead them through the whole park, oh man, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, we can pick up some more cows on the way. It has been free for a while and I bet we're gonna lose some on the way too. I don't know how many I actually need to have the same self-maintaining farm going. But I'll start with those and then we'll find out. You, you don't wanna come? No? Alright. Your choice. You're gonna miss out. You could be part of a great new restaurant. I don't wanna go through the lab because I think that would be, that would be causing more problems that go in around it. So we sh oh man, we lost already a whole bunch. That's too many. I don't want to lose that many. Guys? Anyone? Nice? Wheat? Huh? You're hungry. I see it in your eyes. Yeah, there you go. Oh man. This is not a lot of cows left. Well, how many are those? Two, five, seven. I had at least like 12 or 15 back there. I guess I gotta wait a little. Oh man, we lost another one in the water. Two more. Is are you are you kidding me? Oh man, this is gonna take ages. Guys, anyone? There you go. I don't like the cooldown um, that they sometimes have. When they lose interest, you gotta wait for like five to ten seconds until they are able to follow wheat again. We can make it all happen. Come on, guys. Don't. Go in the water. The water's bad. The water will keep you from following me. Can you not jump glass? Is that a thing? Oh no, you can. Don't fall down there, by the way. Don't fall into the spider spawner. <laughs> Look at all these jumping cows. That is crazy. Oh, I didn't make this park cow proof. They're getting stuck everywhere. Um, okay, let's lead them ahead a little bit. I'm probably gonna lose them. Um... All right, you four, stay here. I'm gonna grab your friends. All of them, hopefully. Hello. You wanna follow me? Yeah, that's the way. You two, come over. Yes, thank you very much. That is two more. So I lost the seventh somewhere else. We are down to six. Wait, where did the fourth go? Ah, oh, they jumped down there. Okay, there's no way I can do this in one go. Is there? Let's just I just take what I can get and then I'll I'll do another round off camera probably because this just takes too long if I want to wait for all of them. I finished off the helicopter by the way. Um, I built a little thing. I gotta show you from closer. Are you kidding me? Only two of you made. How dumb are these creatures? Don't you jump? Oh my god. Did, did you really just jump down there? Are you... I think they want to frustrate me. Three cows left from all the ones that I had. Oh my god. Maybe it would have been easier to set up just a giant minecart track. And get them all over this way. You know what I should do? Maybe you should craft some leads. That might be easier too than just having follow him the wheat. I think I even have some left. When did I use some? I'm pretty sure I used some leads at one point. Um, what was I? What was I doing there? I don't remember. Pro oh yeah, probably about the horses, right? When I got the quagga and got the horses, I think that must have been it. Probably. All right, we're almost there, guys. Don't worry, we just have to go around this building, which is gonna be a pain. Did I lose two of you on this stupid tree? 
Come on! <laughs> uh, I guess they don't want to be eaten, huh? Come on, but I have nice food. You're gonna live a happy life. You're gonna have food every day. And I'm never gonna kill you. Only your children. Oh, I'm so, I'm so cruel, aren't I? Alright, here we go. That's the way. Just go in there. I'm gonna push you in. You won't have a choice. Ah, number one is in! Yes! Let's get number two in there. Nice. And number three. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing golf with cow balls. <laughs> like putting the cows in the hole. There we go! That was not a hole in one, but uh, here you go, three cows in and a lot more to go. Let's quickly talk about some stuff before before I get more cows involved. Um, I asked you guys last episode to tell me which one you prefer, and it was closer than I thought once again. So I got 13 votes um, on this one, number one, and I got eight votes on this design. So I guess I'm going to change it all up to um, be this design instead. Shouldn't be too mu too hard work. I just have to do doop 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 and doop. Oops. I did that twice. Then I use chisel. Where where is it? There they are. Then I chisel them to the dark panel. Basically, it was just between uh, limestone with light panel and limestone with dark panel. And uh, people prefer the dark side. It's confirmed. And there we go. All right, I'm gonna do that for the rest of it. And I'm also gonna grab some more cows. And before I do that, let me quickly show you the helicopter from a close up. Uh, I I used the uh, ones that I showed on I think on the last last episode, like the one with the rusty metal plate thingy, and I actually added something I thought was a pretty cool idea. I don't know if it really looks that cool, but what I actually added is like a sliding door, like a sl the door is like slid open and the door on the other side is closed. And I actually added the glass and I added some more of the red rusty plates around it. So I think it looks kind of cool. I wish that I could make the windows just a tiny bit smaller so we can have like a frame, a better frame. So Because now we just have this one pixel frame on top and on the sides. But overall I think it looks pretty cool. I also lengthened the tail by one block since some of you requested it and I reworked the back. And I think it looks pretty good now. I can definitely live with that. And uh, did I do the other side? Yeah, the other side should be completely done as well. Yep, there we go. So I think that's gonna be the final design. I might... You know what I should try? I should try and get... This is uneven number, so I could even get like some stuff in here of the maybe the, the furniture mod. Do I have some wool on me? I would love to have like a pilot seat. Do you think a couch would look good as a pilot seat or do you think I should rather go... No, these seats would look just wrong in there. So I might I might have to go and try one of those out and maybe even use more of them um, in the back. Although I can't really. I could maybe put one here, but that would be weird too. At least one for the pilot and then maybe some lever action here or something. Uh, I have to think about it a little further. I have to look into the furniture mod again, what is all possible. But now I'm gonna sleep because it's almost night time and I don't wanna lure all these cows through my lands during night time. That would be even harder than it was already. Look at those suckers. They just jumped down here to the river. All of them. I'm gonna take you all to the restaurant in the morning and I'll see you guys once I'm done with that. All right, so I got about maybe 12 more cows in here. I think, let's see, how many is it now? It is... Um, where's our E? E? Oh, there we go. 16. It looks like we got 16 cows up in here, which is not a whole lot. So each breeding cycle should provide us with, what, eight babies? Should we try it out? Let's try it out if it even works. Water? Oh no, oh no, let's not do that. I'm a little worried because of one thing. <laughs> Let's check the surface if one made it out. I don't know if the water will actually... Ooh, hello, block. Do you not want to join my inventory? There you go. 
Um, let's convert you to the dark side. Because then you will stack with my others. <laughs> um, let's put that guy in here. Just in case the cows make it out of this hole when there's actually water inside. Um, but yeah, the, the reason for the water is, I'm gonna repeat it, I already explained all this in my timeshare episode, but I'm gonna say it again. The reason for that is because if you breed them like that, you can see you always breed the same cow. So you only get one with hearts, you actually need them moving up and down, so you can actually reach them all. And then they hopefully make a lot of babies and they fall, drop down to the left and to the right of this glass pane that the cows are standing on. How many did we get? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's hard to say. We might already have all of them. Let's see if we can squeeze one more out. There's still one cow with heart. There's another one. Okay. That might be it. I don't see any more hearts. And as you can see, I used exactly 16 wheat. And what I'm gonna do then, I press the button again. The cows calm down. I can put all the wheat in the right chest. And now we have to play the waiting game until these suckers grow up. And once they grow up, we press the kill button. And then we have nice and beautiful cooked steak in here. Another very, very nice uh, food source that I probably am going to use. I'm currently running on melons again. Uh, melons? Yeah, melons, that's right. And uh, they are so annoying to eat. But I don't have anything else. I mean, I haven't been AFK fishing for a while. Ooh, I ha still haven't fixed this, this lane there. You can see the subway tunnel there. Do I have the sand around here by any chance? I do have a bunch of sand, so I might fix that. But actually, before we do that, let us... Oh, did I get rid of the crafting table too? I must have. Um, let's place it behind the scenes. Oh, by the way, I changed all the walls out here to the dark side. But I decided uh, to change it up. Maybe behind the counter we can leave the white panels. I think that's kind of a cool little change. And also, I didn't want to go back there and uh, exchange all these blocks back there again. <laughs> Hashtag lazy. But I think it still makes for a cool little difference. And we're probably gonna have some furnaces or maybe some ovens there. I don't have all the iron that I need to craft the ovens. But what I have is... Oh, wow, they are... <laughs> Did we get this achievement every single time now? We're gonna need a lot of cobblestone to get these chairs ready and the tables. I wanna go with the stone since this is all a stone theme. I don't think wood would look good. So now we have to face another major decision. Well, not major, but a minor decision. Should I put the table up against the window and have the, the chairs around so everyone can see outside the window? Or should I have the tables a little further in and have uh, chairs all the way around so people sit to the back with to the window sometimes? Or the third option actually is having the tables even further out and having like a lane for walking right next to the window so people can walk up to them and have a look. You know what I just see? I, I see a lack of greenery and I think we're gonna bring some greenery into this place as well very soon. Pretty much a similar table design like I have at Fabes Fried Fish on the outside. Oh, even on the inside. I think it could be kinda cool. I really like that design for some reason. Okay, but let's say we put a table oh, like that here, another one. And we have chairs around maybe only left and right and then the waiter can come up can come up here and serve that might be cool and we can have like a little bit of a hedge Do, i have shears on me Ooh, that's tempting do i have any saplings left i don't think i do because the furniture mod also adds actually i don't want to get rid of these beautiful swamp trees because you can't regrow them like that Hmm, we might have to go back to the lab. The uh, furniture mod also adds uh, hedges. So you can basically craft leaves in the shape of the cobblestone walls and you get thinner hedges than normal leaf blocks. And I haven't tried those out yet. So I would love to see how they actually look. And if they are, I don't even know if there are different hedges for every leaf block or if there's only like one type. Let's try this out. What would we go for? Probably something nice and lush and green. Jungle leaves preferably. I do not have a lot of them though. I do have a lot of oak leaves. 
I have some Pele Raffi leaves, but I'm pretty sure the recipe wouldn't work with those. Let's try out oak leaf for experimenting, because it's easy to come by. Oak hedge. So there are different types of hedges. Can I place them on stone? I do... I do place them on stone. That is pretty cool. So, okay, let's try this out. Um, punching. I get them back by punching, so I do not need shears to get them. Let's make some more of those. I like them. I like them quite a bit. They have a good width. Uh, one more oak leaf, please. This should be a good enough number. Alright, that's cool. Do I have some cobblestone lying around by any chance? I doubt it. I'm always short on stone. Where did all the stone go that I got from? Oh, I have it in the chest right there, don't I? So that's good. Um, Alright, I guess I'll go back there. I'm trying to think of something else I actually wanted to try out. So I don't think I need any other materials quite yet. I probably forgot something that I wanted to grab. Was there something? <laughs> There's always something, right? There's always something you forget. Oh man, this helicopter was a good idea, if I do say so myself. Because it, it gives another highlight when you walk by it. Before it was just an empty helipad, and now there's a beautiful helicopter there. And uh, as I mentioned before, I'm not gonna build a second one, although this could also use some sort of a highlight. But I get a feeling if I build a second one, it's a little too symmetrical. And yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Alright, I should have some... Yeah, I have lots of cobble down here. I forgot that I ran out of my silk touch pick. And I still don't have a new one. Um, that means we can craft a lot of things and stuff. Like so. 12 tables? That's, that should be enough for a while, right? So we got four... Oh, that's not a table, Fabe! I don't know where you're coming from, but that's not a table. That is a table. Let's make it like here. And one more over here. So it's a very exclusive restaurant! Only three tables. I don't think I can fit another one in here because we come in here. We don't want to have anything right in our face when we come in. This is the way to the subway. Um, and this is too small to add additional tables. And the end is the counter over here already. So it's gonna be a small restaurant. Can I not? There we go. It's almost a little too gray. Are there tablecloths? I have the page open right there. Nah, there are, there are no tablecloths. That would be epic, like having red uh, tablecloth on top of it. Um, let's actually make... How many chairs do I need? I need like three and then another four, which is seven, if I count it correctly. Um, and a boop. Can I jump? Yep, I can. Boop, boop. Yeah, it looks pretty gray, almost a little too gray. Maybe I should go for wooden chairs. I wish there would be the different wooden chairs so I could actually choose. I forgot that I need four more. Okay, let's see if the hatches... Is that too low? That might be a little bit too low. And also, they have the swampy color. Maybe I want to try out some... You know, I think I want to keep them that low, because then we can keep these lamps, these torches, these little torches. And we can also look better outside the window and our view is not obstructed. If, for example, our Leoprodon is going to be back there, then we wouldn't be able to see him if there's a big hedge in our way. I think that's kind of nice. It gives it a nice little feeling. It's pretty simple and we need some sort of a color highlight, I still feel. So maybe a wooden chair would be better after all. Let's see, I have some wood on me. Can I craft them with this wood? I can. Hmm. That's what I mean. I wish now I would have like an, uh, a spruce texture. Ah, there's something missing there. Some wool on the, on the seating pad or something, right? I guess... I guess, I guess, I guess. I don't know. I'm on the fence about that. Maybe... I go back to the old design, uh, instead of having, um, instead of having the tables like that, I could always go back to something like this. It kind of defeats the <laughs> the whole meaning of the furniture mod, but now I can just put red carpet on it, and I think it will give this whole 
restaurant a way better feeling. And there's our item that we were lacking. We need to find a, some red carpet now. And I gotta fight my way back through the night time. Oh, there's a creeper waiting for me already. I gotta put up some, some lamps, some lanterns here on this little pathway. I'm still not sure. I kind of really like this pathway. I might keep it. I mean, it turned out to be quite a small restaurant. So maybe I'm going to keep it and I'm going to make um, another viewing platform uh, in the jungle on the other side of the little lake. There are still so many things that needs to be done before we can get our dinosaur in there. But maybe, let's say, maybe in two episodes. Maybe you think that's a good goal? Have our Leoplerodon baby... Oh, wow, by the way, do we even have the DNA? I don't know if we do. There we go, we have two Leoplerodon DNA. So, we should be good. We should be perfect, actually. I'm not gonna make two of them, because, yeah, you guys warned me that he's gonna be get pretty big. Or she. We don't know yet. That's why I will probably stick to one of them. Alright, let's grab some red carpet. I hope I have some. I, I think I have a lot of red dye that I got from... For the... Why did... Oh, for the helicopter, that's right. Um, I do not have a lot of wool. But we get... We get quite a bit of carpet out of those. So let's maybe make four. Just to try it. Boop. And then we can make this into... Six carpets, that's enough for one and a half tables. So let's maybe make four more. You go out in inventory just for now. Doop and oops, that's not how you do it. That's enough for three tables. And as far as I recall, we only have three tables in this restaurant, so that should cover it all in case we like what we see. Oh man, I can't wait till we can finally eat some proper steak and not have to eat every few seconds again. Where did I take all this damage? I'm down to four hearts for some reason. And I don't remember. Maybe maybe some accumulated fall damage. I get this sometimes when I don't eat up full. Then I just accumulate. And then sometimes I'm not careful. I'm just dying. For example, I was gonna walk over there and just jump off the bridge again. Nope. I'm gonna take the safe pathway this time. Let's see. Let's see if the tablecloth design actually still looks better than the... Oops, that's for example another time I take fall damage. That's really a bright red. I wish it would be a little bit darker, like a wine red. That might be too strong. Maybe we should try another color. I don't have the wool nor the color here right now. I can imagine maybe a dark blue looking good. Maybe even a purple. Hmm. But I think we are on the right track here. I think it definitely adds some some highlight to everything. You know another disadvantage we're gonna have with this though? Is we won't be able to put plates on the day table. Like we did in the visitor center. The quartz plates. Ah, oh, I hate those decisions. Everything has their advantages and disadvantages. I can't decide what I want, what I prefer. Of course, the legs look way better on these tables as well. Maybe the plates will provide enough highlight. <laughs> and I could also go back to... Nah, I can't go back to uh, stairs for chairs. They are just ugly. That's not gonna work out. I'm definitely gonna stick with either the stone or the wooden chairs. I think that's another I think that's another thing that you guys have to tell me in the comments. You helped me out so much and I think you already have an opinion on it, don't you? Come on, admit it. You already have an opinion on these tables. Just let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, what I'm now going to do is I'm actually going to repair, well I'm going to fill this in with sand again so it's nice and smooth again and I'm going to wait till the cows grow up. I want at least one try of the new and delicious steaks we're gonna serve here. We gotta test them before we serve them to our customers, right? Gonna try a bit, try a bite, test what the chefs are doing. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in a second here. 
Our food has grown up! <laughs> so let's have some fun. I did put a lava bucket in, just double checking. Pressing the button. Here we go. Oh, those are already dead and those aren't? That's kind of weird. Why is that, I wonder? And why did one, just one survive? That is a mystery to me and it almost seems like... Did I get the wiring wrong? Because it seems like six steak is a little bit too little for seven dead cows. Hmm. I might have to do some some uh, wire checking back there. But for now, let's just do some, some test eating here. We're gonna sit down. We're gonna enjoy some food. And uh, while I'm gonna eat that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, go down, leave some comments, leave a like, I would really appreciate that. And I hope to see you all again in the next episode of the Dinosaur Mine. But until then, have a nice day. And seriously guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft. <laughs>